Hey, what's your name? Joel. This is Joel, and he's going to be my helper. <laughs> what are we making today, Joel? Uh, dinner? We're making something for dinner, or it could be for lunch. What are we making? Can you tell me about what's beside you here? Alphagetti. We're making alphagetti soup? Yeah. Do you like alphagetti soup? Yeah. Awesome. This is supposed to be the broth. Yeah. And this is supposed to be the noodles. That's right. They're nice and crunchy. Yeah, they're not cooked yet. Oh, and these are onion flakes. Mm-hmm. And this is salt and pepper. And this is... This thyme. Is bay leaf and turmeric. No, and thyme. Thyme. Bay leaf and thyme. Yeah. Time. Are you ready? Yep. Let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. A bit of olive oil, a tablespoon or so. Okay. Salt and pepper? Mm-hmm. Okay. And the onion flakes. <laughs> okay, put in the thyme. Okay. And the bay leaf. And give it a mix. And we'll fry up our spices for one minute. Uh, what are spices? Those are spices that give flavor to our alphagetti. I like having lucky bay leaves. Yeah, in our family, we call it the lucky bay leaf when somebody gets it in their soup. Sometimes I'll put it in like a tea bag. I have reusable tea bags, and other times I just put it right in the soup because the kids find it fun when they get, get one. Washing collard greens! Oh, you're going to get drippy wet! Are you ready? it off the heat while we were making the collard greens feet off the counter. <laughs> Ready Joel? Yes. Okay, we're gonna put the tomato in. Okay? What tomato? Okay. Woohoo! Watch out! It's gonna get hot really fast. So I'll move it away from Joel so that it doesn't hurt him. <laughs> Mix it up. The spices. Tomato just gets hot really, really fast. So I move it off the heat and then I add some more water. One tin of sauce and then another part water. Good job. We had these extra diced tomatoes from another project sitting around. So we're just going to put that in. If your kids don't like chunks of tomato, just use the pureed stuff and don't even bother with this. Okay, cool. Go ahead, buddy. That was a big blooper. <laughs> Are you dirty? Yes. <laughs> so you just want to simmer the soup for a while, at least half an hour. Okay, you can put the salt in the pasta water. This one? Yep. Oh. Good job. Is this soaked to the We water? cook the pasta separately and put it in the bowl separately because I don't like putting pasta right into the soup. It tends to go mushy and then the next day it's not as great. It's so I serve the broth. And I'll put this in too. <laughs> Just kidding. I serve the broth That's over the grains. And boil the water. Every now and then, stir the tomato soup as it's simmering. Just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom.
What's that? Turkey. Chicken. Chicken. I made up a number of chicken breasts for actually dinner tomorrow for a chicken soup, but we're gonna put one in the alfagetti. This is to totally optional. Chicken going in the soup. Totally optional, but chicken in the alfagetti is yummy. Uh -huh. We're gonna put the pasta in the boiling water. Ready? You just dump it in. And give it a stir. Leave it uncovered and give it a stir. Are you touching the bottom of the pot with the spoon? Yes. Stir it up. No, leave the pasta in or it's not going to cook. Stir it around. Okay, now take the spoon out. Leave, take the spoon out, put it on the counter, not on the stove, or it will melt. Good boy. Okay. I like to keep a bowl of cold water by the pasta in case it yeah, starts getting a bit out of control, and then I put it in just a bit just to control the boiling from going over the pot. Cooling down the pasta, it's going into hot soup, keeps it from sticking to each other, and stops the cooking time.